Wow, look at this bad boy. Do you think there's some hours on this machine? Somebody did a burnout and tore the rubber right off the one side. I hope I have one of those or two of them. Uh, back wheels have been replaced with non-standard bolts, nuts, but they're nylon. This is the mother of a neighbor. Uh, the, the neighbor, young lady, two kids, nice family, working hard, and she probably said to her mom, hey, my neighbor fixes lawnmowers. Oh, and this has got the, the lockable flap for the, uh, for the uh, mulching position. So she just brought it over. It, I don't know anything about it, right? I know nothing about this thing. So let's get you up on your chair. It's not that this chair's not that comfortable for me, but it works okay for you guys. Now, first things first. Oil. pour it in here and see where we should end up. All right, we're just going to add, well not even all of this, but you got to have lubrication for the nation, right? I bet you that's going to be lots. what kind of a guess that was. Well, you know, it's still on the just, it's above that. So, there we go. First guess, number one, done. Good boy. Now let's throw a little go juice in the tank. Now that we got lubrication, the air filter is, well, it's doable, right? And if it leaks right out, then we know we got a carburetor problem. Or a tank problem or something. I think five blurps is enough for this experiment. No, I don't know. How long does it take to settle through? Feels like I'm pumping something. We'll go to plan, we'll go to plan C if this doesn't do anything. That low oil's got me bothered. Let's see what we got. Hello guys. Okay, we're going to put this baby on the, on the lift. I still don't know if the self propel works. Good. So now, Bill, my friend, we do things so diametrically opposed that it's actually kind of fun. He says, I can't believe people would fix a carburetor without taking off the carburetor. But in this case, we've got a, a primer seal, a, a primer, a primer seal, and you need to have a good airtight seal on the bowl to get the primer to prime. 
And in this case, it's just a squirting up there. So I'm not going to muck with that part. I'm just going to take the bowl off. And we'll let it, we'll do a, a midstream sample on the gas. And then uh, we'll see if we can just clean the bowl and the bolt, which is also a jet. La, 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 la. So we need some sockets. Uh, we need a 12 point half inch with a really gentle socket. We need a hemostat stat to close off the gas so we don't drain the thing. And we're going to take the carburetor bowl off. And we have to make sure we're coming in the off direction. So here we go. We're going to take the carburetor bowl off. There. I'm going to leak a little bit of gas, which is my specialty. And we're going to see if we can get this lawnmower to run just by cleaning this jet. This is the best video I've ever had. You guys can go to a lawnmower that starts and stalls, and you can see it. It's a twin. It's almost a ten-year-old video now. Okay, we got some, we got some cred bunnies in there, right? And that's just big enough to clog the jet. You see right there? There's a hole, and I can't see through it. So we're going to clean that and clean that. All right, let's get this uh, jet cleaned out. I can see through it a little tiny bit, but it might be, it's a T. The hole goes down this way and then goes through that way. So I'm just going to do this first. We'll shoot through it. This is just about out of gas here, this one. It's not shooting through very good, is it? And then down a little. I got to use a bigger chunk of wire. I got a nice little orange chunk in here that's been. That's, no, I guess. I'll, yeah, here it is. It's been my buddy. Nope. This blue chunk, I guess. Now we'll just see. So there's the hole through. And then there's the hole down, and you can, if I hold that up, I should be able to see that come in and out of there. Yep. So that's now clean. Okay. And we'll just clean this up. spend much money on stuff, but I do spend money on carb spray. I like it. Okay, that should almost be enough to revive this engine. Now, what we're going to do over here now, back on the engine. Sorry, Bill, I did it. I know this drives you nuts. But we just do what we do. Look up. Way up. And I'm going to just make sure you're running. Okay, my friends, let's just do a, a nice little midstream sample here. If I can get that under there. Sort of can it. We'll just let that run really, really freely. Take the lid off. And we'll just pull, and I'm going to just go gentle. I'm going to just increase the pressure here. That doesn't hurt. But you can blow the screens out and everything, right? Good. Okay, he was not. Stop. 
Ooh, we got some crud bunnies out of there. Slug. Okay, now we have to be very, very quiet. No, not quiet. Gentle. And this might have saved me 10 bucks because I didn't break the seal for the primer bulb, right? I mentioned that. Okay, let's let the gas go. Let it fill up. Get my light. Should already be filling up by now. Yeah, we got we got primer. So now we're gonna just lower this down for safety. Primer a little more. And we'll see if she catches. Are you ready? Okay, our, our uh, work on this is going very well. But do I, do I, do I have one? Let's just check and see two things. We're going to look at the gearbox with a drill and a 5 16 Is that what he says? 5 16 uh, socket. These are usually completely plugged with goo, and they're not. That's not. But mowers absolutely like this is the fun stuff with mowers. Hey, like that should be just full of garbage, and it's not. Now we're going to just get a little piece of wood. Lift up the front end and see if we can replace this tire. It's up. Tire is up. That's going to be painful. They're 9 sixteenths. You guys are watching? Not quite. I guess we're watching this one. Huh. Yeah, no, because I want to take this one off first. Excuse me. For about 65 reasons. Okay, that looks really good. So really, all that's wrong is it's got no rubber on it. Look at that. Hmm. Now we gotta go hunting. Hunting we will go. I'll be back in a bit. Won't be very long for you guys. Hello my friends, Bruce here. Well today we're gonna use my, uh, my metal table. I designed it off of the same geometry as a TV tray. Like this, tucks in to that. Oh, got a car coming by. I always wave at everybody. It opens like this. And they actually used our wooden TV tables in the house for the, pardon me, for the geology, it's hot. Okay. All right, my friends, I'm going to retread a tire. I'm going to retread this guy with this guy. The tires are the same. They measure out rim to rim. The wheel, yeah. Is that a, yeah, that's a tire. This, this is the wheel, that's the tire. Please forgive me. So I'm just going to get set up. I'm going to use my heat gun 
and some blood, sweat, and tears, and maybe a cuss word. Be right back. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna sit down on this job. It's turning up all the way. Right back. Okay, okay, that call was for the manager of acquisitions and dispositions. Doesn't hurt to do these in a couple of stages. It gets the gets the tire warm all the way through. Now, normally I let that thing cool off, but we're going to go to town on, on this. See? Not that bad, eh? If every second... Uh, I, wish they, I wish they went on as easy as they went off. I do this once in a while when I'm desperate, right? Or, or broke, or both. Isn't that something? Look, look at that. Okay, if the new one is that easy, <laughs> yeah, and they're the same on either side too, I believe. So let's do the. Uh, unfortunately for me, I have to take, I have to take this one off of here now. So you got to do it four times for two tires. So let's go. I got to be a little more careful with this one because that's the one I'm keeping. burn my handles. It's nice to use a metal table for this too, right? So like before, I'm going to turn this off and we'll come back when it's uh, hot all the way through. Alright, here we go again. I'm going to heat it up again. Okay, this has a heat cycle, a warm cycle, and a cool cycle. So we're going back to red hot here. How hot is that right now? Oh, it's warm. It's getting there. The whole tire is warm. It just makes all the difference in the world. And I'm doing this to save my customers money, guys. And me. Okay, let that cool for a minute and we'll start taking this cover off of here. Ooh, she's nice and warm. Should come. Popped itself back on, right? It's not that bad. You just gotta use your patience, right? There we go. It's just like any tire. Once you get a quarter of it off, you're there. Okay, so we're not using that. We're using this and this. This was the back. This is the back. So I'm, I want to go like this. It's never as easy going on, eh? <laughs> I'm going to try and get this while the tire is still relatively pliable, right? The problem with, with putting it on is you have the two edges to fight with. I don't want to fast forward any of this for you guys. One more little, one more little bump and we're there. Oh, I got it. <laughs> It's a good thing I enjoy doing this kind of stuff, right? Okay, we'll use the table even as a lever. Okay. This is 
the whole kahuna right here, baby. We're going too big a giant, too big a bites. Good. Believe it or not, I have done this before. Not on camera, though. Okay, it's time to get some of this lip over to the other side, eh? Just, just for uh, ease of mount. But not much, right? Oh man, we need the screwdriver. So I'm going to bring it over the end a little bit. If I can. If I can stick this screwdriver into there, take him out, and then just pull this. The problem with this one is the back piece is a big ridge, eh? No, can't do it. I gotta just muscle it through. May have to warm up the wheel again. Okay, let's go. Let's bring the wheel over the edge. I didn't want to do that. That. Here we go. Oh, guts handy for something. There we are. We're so close now. I'm just going to pry it over the edge without putting a hole in my arm. There we go. She's on. We've gone too far. There we go. She's there. I just have to see it now. And that's all there is to it, guys. I've got a little bit of heating to do to uh, form it in. Friend, one of our best friends just came over. Trudy hasn't been feeling very good. She, and she came over. Actually, this gal came over to uh, just say hello. So, there we are. Voila! I wish they went on as easy as they came on. Thanks, guys, for watching this one. 
Okay, folks. Nag, nag, nag. When I get a plug like that, I keep it. It's probably the original RJ19LM for this machine, although there's no black paint on it. So let's just get her back in there. I cleaned it. The gap looks good. On the blade boss, it had been uh, a little bit bumped. There's a star on that one. I think it's a Murray, I'm not sure. Ken's better at that stuff than me. But uh, anyway, I cleaned out the, the uh, dirt off the uh, unspoke from underneath. Got the broccoli off. Belt looks good. I, I tell you, these, these lawnmower belts blow me away. Or they don't. So now all we need is an oil change. Clean plug, sharpened blade, new treads on the front tires. I did that and uh, let's just start her up and see how she runs. I had it tilted for about an hour and if it starts up and runs fine we will uh, change the oil. We have to remember that uh, we actually didn't clean the carburetor on this one. We just did the uh, prep, we just did the uh, bolt jet. I call that. That's what she does. She runs good, huh? So let's just get a little pail to catch the oil and we'll change the oil right now. And then I just gotta wipe it down because it's red. Yeah, this one might not drain that well. Right there. So when we get the oil in it, I'll come back. All right, my friends, here it is. Looks nice, eh? I've always liked red on the sides. I hope you can see it all right. The light is getting late, right? And we also have forest fires going on. So let me just start this up for you. doesn't get any better than that, eh? And you know there's always one more small thing, right? I just noticed that the little rope holder here needs to be taken up a quarter of a okay. need more than a quarter of a trip. Gotta take this one out for uh, the manager of acquisitions and dispositions to check it out. Thanks a lot for watching this one guys.